Hello and welcome to WordPress Tutorials. In today's video, I'll show you how to install WordPress on XAMPP server or if you have any uh, cPanel server like uh, GoDaddy or Bluehost or if you have a managed WordPress uh, hosting, then uh, in this video you will understand how to mm, install WordPress on XAMPP server. After that, you can transfer it to mm, cPanel or even uh, transfer it to the WordPress server. If you already have uh, XAMPP server installed, uh, which uh, here is the icon, for example, let me search it on my windows, XAMPP control panel. If you already have the XAMPP server, then uh, you can move further. But if you do not have uh, XAMPP yet, then you can watch my video how to install XAMPP uh, and the link is in the description. So I already have the XAMPP server installed. So I'll go to the XAMPP folder and then in hgdocs folder i will build a new uh, wordpress website in the hgdocs folder and first of all let's get wordpress uh, go to wordpress.org here and then uh, click on get wordpress download latest wordpress and save it anywhere on your desktop or let's save it in uh, hgdocs folder save yes i already have it so it's asking for replacement open hgdocs folder and unzip this file when it's downloaded okay now click on right click and unzip click on ok and we have a folder here so uh, let's just start XAMPP and uh, start both Apache and MySQL servers uh, as you can see I already started them so it's uh, not a problem for me uh, open the WordPress folder copy the WordPress folder within that folder and come back to hcdocs and paste it here and now we will uh, name it a unique like WordPress test website website WordPress underscore test underscore website I'll keep the database name uh, same as the folder uh, to avoid any misunderstanding so uh, open your browser and uh, we will first build a database for our website let's say uh, it's localhost slash php my admin and in the databases tab paste that name the folder name uh, which we gave to uh, wordpress website and we will keep the same name okay paste that name here and click on create so now uh, our WordPress test website uh, has been done uh, now in the URL type localhost slash our folders name which we uh, built in the localhost hcdocs folder it's asking for um, installation so how this WordPress works if we open the test website then you can see there is no WP config file uh, we need to have WP config after um, setting up a new website so uh, it's um, redirected to setup config click on continue choose your language first click on let's go and uh, give the database name which we just uh, built in the w uh, PHP my admin uh, the default username for the PHP my admin is root uh, you can use uh, your um, database name from cPanel uh, exactly like this you can upload this uh, WordPress folder to a cPanel hosting and extract that and then you can um, create a database and then copy the username and password for that uh, database and uh, leave localhost and WP underscore as it is but uh, for MySQL our uh, localhost XAMPP the password is empty and the username is root and the database name is uh, we just created click on submit and click on run installation 
now we will give a site title like just title username will be admin admin password for um, easy to remember confirm using you uh, use a weak password uh, because we are working on XAMPP so it's okay to use a weak password uh, your email address like let me give it my real email address and click on install WordPress and uh, by clicking this button it's already installed and it will redirect you to WP admin page which is this login and type admin password admin login and your website is ready and if you go to the folder now you will see that WP config file is already there there is a WP config sample file in case uh, you want to do it manually you can just copy and paste it here rem uh, replace the database name replace the username password replace the site title etc all these settings uh, which you done in the uh, automatic setup wizard uh, you can copy that in this file and rename it as WP config but we did that uh, using that wizard so it makes easier okay now if we uh, look at the URL then this is our website URL uh, before WP admin and WP admin is dashboard which is the backend of the website so uh, if we just copy the website URL and open it in a new tab and then you can see that our website looks something like this this is a default 2022 theme uh, which is provided with WordPress installation um, I think we, we should have about three themes within this folder uh, and these are 2022 2020 and 2021 and the activated one is the latest one which is 2022 now you can install uh, the theme of your choice um, currently we have just one post hello world and just one page sample page and this is the uh, recent post section of our website so let's just start installation installing a custom theme and uh, I'll show you how to customize a website from start to end so first of all we will add a new theme uh, which is called Astra click on add new theme search for theme named Astra and press enter and this is the Astra theme click on install now activate the theme and uh, we will check how the front end looks like now uh, open the front end and refresh and you will see a difference right away so this is a basic blog template uh, which we will convert into a beautiful portfolio website or a personal website or a business website as well uh, I'll show you you can just download the templates from a huge library uh, provided by Elementor and Astra so after activating this theme just click on plugins and click on add new in here type Astra again which is obviously Astra sites but uh, for short you can use Astra to get this plugin on the first place uh, this spelled as starter templates elementor wordpress and beaver builder templates uh, basically it's Astra sites plugin click on install now activate the plugin and then we will have some options extra in the appearance menu okay now after activating the plugin uh, if you come to the front end then there is no difference uh, before and after installing the plugin but you have to click on appearance and then click on starter templates and uh, we have a huge library from where you can get a pre-built website and then you can customize it for yourself I'll show you uh, step by step how uh, you can customize it as well so click on build your website and choose your builder if you are using beaver builder or blog editor then these two are the options but I'll prefer Elementor because this is the most flexible uh, page builder which I am using these days so click on Elementor or any page builder you want then uh, choose a template from 
the available library uh, you can see there is a premium label label on uh, some of the themes or designs uh, which are not available in the free template uh, free templates for Astra so if you have a premium version of Astra theme or Astra sites then uh, these templates will be available okay now scroll down and look for the options if you are uh, building a blogger or influencer portfolio site then mm, this is the design but it's premium so you can use this one uh, but if you are planning to build a shop then the organic store is the best option for that um, this will automatically install elementor page builder and the woocommerce and also it will add some uh, demo products so basically it's um, a complete website which you can customize for yourself so it, it, there is a learn dash academy uh, template which uh, will obviously install a learn dash plugin and similarly this uh, live health or uh, this lotus spa or you can uh, select it from all these other templates uh, but as I mentioned that I'll uh, go with the organic store or this simply natural uh, because these two are my favorite and these are quite simple and easy to customize all templates are easy to customize uh, but mm, I like the way they um, built the pages so uh, this template have a home page a store category page these, these two are categories and this is a shop page uh, which is called store about us contact us my account uh, contact us means that it will also install a plugin like WP forms or contact form 7 or something like that uh, which is required by this template so yes this is the design you can upload the logo right away from this wizard or you can skip this wizard and uh, change it later so click on next now you can choose the color palettes here you can change the color template uh, later but if your required color palette is available here then you can change it for example uh, you can see these badges or the button colors these are um, pinkish red like uh, so this is the template if you change it to something like this then you can see it's changing right from uh, clicking these things so uh, at my preference uh, this is okay because this have some greens uh, some pinkish red uh, I will show you how to customize these if you want to change this red or green or these darker colors then I'll show you uh, you can change the fonts the font family the font size and click on continue type in your first name and your email as I mentioned I have to use uh, some real email addresses or real data here you can choose I'm beginner intermediate expert this is uh, this data is sent to um, Astra site and they will send you occasional emails like uh, promotional or uh, if they have a promotional code on uh, discount on their products uh, so they can send you if you choose expert intermediate and beginner they use uh, for promotion purposes so let's choose uh, intermediate if you are intermediate but uh, beginner is best for uh, all those who are using this thing for the first time I'm building a website for myself for my company or for my client so uh, obviously I'm using this for myself because it's not my clients website I agree to receive newsletters as I mentioned earlier uh, import customizer setting import widgets install required plugins and import contents and uh, share non-sensitive data so click on submit and build my website and it will take a couple of minutes to complete these four steps and it will redirect you to the website and then you can uh, see the changes right on your home page so I'll pause this video and wait for a couple of minutes just below the um, progress bar you can see each and every step which is completing uh, it's activating WooCommerce cart, abandonment recovery plugin and then activated uh, this plugin then the next plugin and then the content all the statuses will be shown here and once the process is done you will see a new button view your website and when you click that uh, the website front end will be open in a new tab
or you can just open your front end and refresh the page and your website will be ready which uh, template you just chose so this is our template and of course this is the home page so uh, if we come to the store page then you will see that some demo products are already updated added so it means that WooCommerce is already set up and working mm, you have a beautiful grid template for shop open any product then uh, you have a beautiful design for the products as well a nice thumbnail a title price some short description category and this long description reviews and uh, some attributes if any products have and some recent products or related product and then finally the footer so uh, if you come to the home page I'll show you how to build uh, or how to customize your home page uh, you can see there is a menu if you are logged into your WP admin and open a f your front end then you can see there is a edit with Elementor menu right click and open in a new tab or just click it uh, to open it in the same tab the Elementor page builder will be loaded once the page builder is loaded then you can see side by side the page and the tools you available for uh, drag and drop builder so uh, first of all uh, let's see the banner image and uh, the banner text buttons uh, etc so here is the parent of this section if you click on the parent of the section you can uh, find some layout option like boxed width custom width no gap or height or minimum height or column position etc uh, if you come to style tab then you can see you can change this image by just clicking on the image and select file from your PC you can upload any custom file or if you come to media library then you can choose your already available images from your library so this is how you can change the background uh, and all other elements are self-explanatory if you click on the title there is a title you uh, for you to change there are some font setting the title setting which tag you want to show h1 h2 up to h6 or div or span uh, you can choose style you can change the color of the text uh, and you can see it's changing right away so you can move this to um, come to default again uh, you can click on typography to change the font family like Arial, Thama, or Thama or Verdana or change the size or change the weight of the font or transform uppercase, lowercase, capitalization etc. Style, normal, bold, italic and all these line height spacing word spacing letter spacing uh, if you click back to default then it will uh, come back to default settings if you click on this you can change the text if you can click on this uh, you can change the link to this button you can change the text of this button scroll down uh, these are three elements uh, and each of each one of them have icon their uh, style like staked or default or framed or staked something like that uh, shape circle square uh, it, it's for framed circle and square for staked uh, it's not circle it's, it's it will not um, uh, make any difference so the title for this the um, short description for this similarly if you click this you can change its um, properties like if you click on this icon you can choose a vast um, um, collection from font awesome change to this click here now the products if you click on uh, the products grid here this image is within the background of this column I think yes it is if you click on this column and come to the style tab then you, you can change the background image you can change the title uh, background uh, this choose image if you choose image then there will be an additional image which we do not want to add 
and the description and if you click on see collection this is also a button or a link uh, so here you can change the link and here you can change the text all the styling for the buttons is in a style tab text color background type normal hover if you change the color uh, blue on upon hover then you can see it will be blue uh, sorry this was the background let's make it default and on hover text color to be blue so if you hover on that the blue color will be there f just for this section okay other than that if we update this page and open the home page refresh it uh, we have some basic pages uh, this was the overview for the home page or front page uh, if you click on about us then there is also a unique design for that within this template if we click on contact us there will be a form uh, as i mentioned that uh, many templates use different uh, contact plugins or other plugins like this one uses wp form light so if we click on contact us and uh, scroll down to the form section uh, like here this one so this form is built with um, wp forms light and we also have a uh, map section where which is also grabbed by elementor uh, you can edit this with elementor and you can change this map address uh, right away from there so uh, this was all for today's video i hope you learned something and uh, like this video so please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and you will be notified for all my future videos and please don't forget to mm, uh, press that bell notification to get all notification from my videos thank you